Hello guys and welcome to another add-on showcase. Today will be the Desert Plus add-on. So I found this add-on and from Forge Logical's channel and it, it appears he made it. It's not on MCPDL yet. So you know what I'm just gonna showcase it. I had to play around with it a bit just to understand. And there's even a new boss guys. It has like three stages, you know. So like these are the new blocks. They're scale blocks. And then like to make them, there's scales here. Black scale, blue scale, brown scale, cyan scale, green scale, gray scale, you can imagine it. And then the, there are hieroglyphic blocks. And now we're going to go on to the mobs, which I forgot to put the sign here. So yeah, there is other items, but I, I don't know anything about this add-on. So let me put up the normal mobs here first. I know which one's the boss, I know. Because I have to look around the mobs a bit, so this is the something. So desert furrow closed gives you that a scarab yep they're um, neutral and they give you a bit of nausea and there there are a great way to get scales like a really good way to get scales and they also drop raw scarab meat so you know what I'll just grab their drops every time they die and this is a gold, golden scarab. They're naturally hostile. So yeah. They also dropped that, that scarab meals. Is it made of gold? Yep. Golden scarab scales. Now it's time for the camel. So you can mount it. But you cannot control it. You can't, but you can leash it. So now it's time for the cobras. They are another good part of the add-on. So let me aggravate them. Okay, then they are actually looking pretty good. They look pretty interesting. So yeah, they dropped some new things. So yeah, Desert Plus adds content to the desert, of course, as the name suggests. Now for the mummy. Oh my goodness, this. You were modeled after a zombie, weren't you? Or a husk. Probably modeled after a husk, actually. Because, you know, it's a de it, it spawns in the desert. So, you know what? They're a bit stronger than the husk, of course. They're a bit, little bit rarer than husk. And, of course, um, if you're wondering about the white candy add-on. So, like, the white candy add-on? Or you can say Candy Island. So you know it's not updated to 1.16. Well, I asked a friend. He's probably gonna do it later. He's gonna change. He's gonna add 1.16 support to it. And if you want, you can get 1.16 support of it. Cause you know it's a 1.16 add-on. I should give myself some beef. And I think the boss is gonna be difficult. Probably. Like. I cannot imagine how difficult he can be. So you know what, let me put the stuff in here. And now... Hey. Now it's time for the boss. So yeah, I'm gonna drink some water first. So if you wanna download this add-on, you can just check out Forge Logical's channel. It's there. So you know it. Undead Pharaoh boss. He's actually pretty difficult. He's modeled after a evoker. And yep, he's pretty difficult. So at his first stage, he has 200 HP. And he's gonna put up one heck of a good fight against you. And I think he spawns in like some sort of structure. What the hell? What the hell are those? I did not get to see them. Oh! They, they despawn after a second. I don't know why. I saw them spawn. Oh, oh! Okay, that that's... Now for his um, second stage now. He gives you a totem of undying after you defeat his... Okay, so his second stage, you just have to hit him once. I don't know what's up with that. So I gotta wait for this blind list to go away. You know what?
Okay, so as you can see, he's pretty damn high up in there. He's gonna keep trying to attack me, of course. And you're gonna need to get good hits off of him. So yeah, he, he'll be very challenging. So yeah. But luckily, um, you'll be fighting him in the temple, so he will not be as hard. Like, he spawns in a structure. I'll show you the structure, and then I'll try to fight him there, so... You can just um, simply bring a... So, yeah. Bring a fire resistance potion if you might have trouble. I think I've done a lot of damage to him. Let me hit you with the sword. Get sword! Stop dodging! So, yeah, it's another thing he's good at. He can dodge you. So, yeah. This is a really fun boss, and he's challenging. So, yeah, a bow may be necessary for this battle. Uh, he's actually kind of harder to hit than the Ender Dragon, but once you hit him, he'll have trouble moving again, of course. And, of course, he does drop some nice things. And he will go down. Oh, he's about to die. Ah, stop moving. My finger was about to break. Damn you. Okay, then. So, yeah. You're probably gonna fight this dude with, like, iron... When you have iron armor on. And, of course, the Guardian Ravendi. So, this dude is similarly coded to the Guardian Ravendi. So, yeah, the Undead Pharaoh is kind of difficult. Boom dead so we dropped some nice experience and of course this the pharaoh's heart i don't know what it's used for i guess it's a trophy it's a trophy pretty much so you know what i'm gonna try to find the structure the dude spawns in and fight him there there's also a chance of desert sandstorm spawning in so um, yeah keep that in mind I, I, there's a function for that, but there's no function for the structure at all. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. But you know what? I'll just, um... Okay, no, never mind. He will not have a chance against the wither, obviously. He, can, he can't even hurt the wither. So, um, yeah. It'll be very difficult. So, I don't know why, but... Let's see if an Iron Golem can take him down in his first stage. Let's see. Bro. Let's see if an Iron Golem can take him down a bit at least. Let's see what- oh! Oh, he spawned. Oh, they did not despawn that time. What the hell happened with with me? Okay then. So apparently there something happened with the AI of the mummies. They despawned when they're fighting a player. Oh my goodness, that's oh oh they oh, okay no it happens with Iron Golem too a bit sometimes. Oh, he's about to take down the dude a bit. What did you do to him? He did not even get into his second stage, dude. Okay, so the Iron Golem must have done something to him. Don't bring an Iron Golem if you want the loot. Do not. Like, I repeat, do not. So, um, yeah, this adds structures to your world. And it makes the desert way more fun. Like, more hostile mobs. As you know, there's even a brand new boss. So, why not? And I'm also gonna re-download Gastus. I will. So, um, yeah, this is a pretty interesting boss. I'm gonna play with it for a while. Also, I discovered a brand new way to make structures in an add-on. You, you have to use this block in a game and try to build it. So, yeah, that is very interesting. So, for example, I want to make a pyramid. Mm 
Okay, so. Oh, it saves here. So you know what, guys? I have an idea for an add-on. I'm about for, for an add-on. I want. I've always wanted to make. I wanted to make battle towers, but I think actually, you know what? I'm gonna try to build a structure. I'm gonna try to re. I'm okay. You know what, guys? But first off, let me try to recreate the pyramid he's supposed to spawn in with this structure block. You know what, guys? Never mind. Um, I'm just gonna end the video here right now. Bye.